God bless you, family. God, welcome to the Morning Devo. Oh, man, there was a lot of background stuff I had to do because if you know or if you don't know, Facebook, um, WhatsApp, and Instagram were down. Um, they had a blackout, a, a outage last night or all day pretty much yesterday, and today it's still acting a little strange, so I had to reset a couple of things. But we're here on the Morning Devo. God bless you. I hope you are having a wonderful morning, a wonderful day so far. And wherever time or whatever time you're going to watch or listen to this, I hope you are blessed by what you're going to hear today by the Word of God. I thank you for always joining me on these Morning Devos. I offer you a place to to belong to, live.soulwinnerswithaz.org, which you see on the screen. If you're listening, I'll leave the link on the podcast as well, because live.soulwinnerswithaz.org dot org will be our new home for all things soul winners so thank you so much for coming through so today we're going to be talking about wholehearted love basically we're going to be talking about what do we do to show our spiritual leaders love but first of all we have to know and recognize who they are our leaders our spiritual leaders our pastors teachers maybe evangelists apostle over you a, a prophet amen an apostle all those people who are in these leadership roles, amen, they are basically doing one thing. They are working for the Lord. So that therefore, they are Lord, the Lord's workers, the Lord's workers, amen. Well, what spiritual leaders do you know? And what can you do to honor them today in this season of their lives and this season of your life? Because they don't have an, they don't have an easy job. The other day, I was um, honored to be a part of an outdoor outreach in Allentown, Pennsylvania. It's like a town over from where I'm at, broadcasting now. And, you know, they were honoring the people that were invited. Um, I was given a book um, by the author himself, by Apostle S.A. Dukes uh, from Spirit, Spirit Temple um, Bible Church. And inside it says, Pastor Sam. I'm not a pastor, but people recognize some pastoral things in me, so they immediately call me, call me pastor. And I, I'm kind of like not okay with it, but I'm okay with it at the same time because they didn't know, but I'm an evangelist. So recognizing someone and honoring someone in that way really encourages the people that you're honoring, if that makes any sense. So we should learn or know how to honor because this is not easy. Um, leading people to the cross, you know, shepherding people, evangelizing, uh, being an apostle. It's not being easy. It's not a, it has not ever been easy, even for the original apostle, for the disciples or whatever. If you read their stories, if you know the background of the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke and John, you'll notice that they didn't have it like it wasn't a cup of cake. It wasn't a cup of cupcake. It wasn't a cup of soup or, you know, it wasn't that easy. It was something that they had to apply um, their lives into and dedicate their lives to the learning of the word, the preaching of the word, and to develop leaders and other people um, that along the way that they will minister to and be ministered by. So it's not easy. So today we're going to be in First Thessalonians chapter five, verses twelve and thirteen. First Thessalonians chapter five, verses twelve and thirteen. And what we'll do right now, we'll take a minute to pray. If you have any questions comments, concerns, or any prayer requests, now's your time. Now's your time to shine, right? Don't be afraid or hesitant or hesitant to leave a message to get on our website and to join the live chat also at live.someoneiswithaz.org. Amen. So all things are moving right now. All things should be up and running. And I'm praying and I'm hoping that everything on the multi-stream is working as well. Because again, we had the outage and that changed a lot of things. A lot of, a lot of people's lives were disrupted yesterday. Because of our reliance on social media. Amen. Thank God that the greatest thing that we could rely on and the greatest person is God through Jesus. And the greatest thing that we have on this earth uh, is not social media. Although there are a billion pe- um, users, they say, on social media. But it's not social media. It's the word of God. Amen. And because of the word of God, we could operate without social media. If that thing crashes again or goes down again. Amen. We shouldn't lose any sleep over it as believers. Amen. Uh, the word of God will always remain, right? The earth is going to blow up, right? It's going to go on fire. I know it doesn't sound like good news for this morning, right? And it's going to perish. But the word of God will remain for all eternity. So our treasure, I hope your treasure is the same as my treasure. It's the word of God. First Thessalonians 5, 12 and 13. I'm going to take that opportunity um, to read that 
portion of scripture. Amen. And as always, I suggest you always read the whole chapter. If I'm camping out a couple of verses, I always suggest you read the whole chapter so you make sure that we're not taking this out of context. All right. So the Lord's workers today on the Morning Devo with your brother Sam Lopez. If this is your first time visiting the Morning Devo, amen, we usually start at 10 a.m. But because of some glitches in the system um, beyond my control, I had to re reset a lot of things. So uh, that's why we are uh, midway through almost because I would have been here uh, 20 something minutes ago. But we're here. God bless you. God keep you. Remember always that God is good. Let's pray. Amen. And again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or any prayer requests, you can leave them on the live chat. If you some, if you have something on your heart that you don't want to really share publicly, but you want you know, to share it, you could always inbox me in the background on the social media. You could always email me at DJ Sandrock at soulwinnerswithaz.org. Amen. Or you could connect with me through one of my podcast platforms. Amen. So only I can see your message. And we could do it like that too. There's always an inbox. There's always things like that as well. Amen. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you right now for the opportunity to come together right now with the platform that you have given us live at songwinnerswithaz.org and all the platforms that we're multi-streaming on right now. I pray a hedge of protection over every single person, every single person that is here, every single person that will come later on, every single person that's connected now, and every single person that will connect on a replay. Basically, Lord God, everyone that comes by this ministry, I pray, Lord God, that they would sense the presence of your living holiness and your aliveness, right? If that's a word. I praise you, Lord, for who you are, what you are doing, what you continue to do. And I thank you for every single listener, every single viewer. I pray for their financial breakthrough. I pray for peace be still over their lives. I pray, Lord God, for their health, for their strength, for their protection, that you guide, guard, and protect all of us from the very youngest family member to the very oldest and everyone in between. And we set of Arquin Angels, Minister Angels, and this month of October, where we are on alert as believers, Lord God, because we know uh, there's going to be a high level of spiritual warfare because of what's happening in the month of October. I give you glory, honor, worship, and praise, and I thank you in advance for the testimonies of what these morning devos and what your ministry can do and will do in the people's lives that are willing to listen and activate what they listen to and activate what they learn in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's take a minute, family, to share this out with as many people as we can. When we come back, we'll dive right into the word. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 12 and 13. I'll be right back. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen, the fastest one minute in all internet history has just happened. Amen. Right there on real t- in real time. So let's go for it. First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 12 and 13. The Bible says, Dear brothers and sisters, honor those who are your leaders in the Lord's work. They work hard among you and give you spiritual guidance. Show them great respect and wholehearted love because of their work and live peacefully with each other. If we operate like that for our leaders, right, we will make their lives so much easier. Amen. Especially when you're loving someone wholeheartedly and you're not forcing your love. You're not being um, phony, fake, unreal. You're being real and wholeheartedly serving and wholeheartedly honoring. So this is right now uh, like an encouragement for all those who are under good leadership. If you're under bad leadership, amen. Pray for the leaders that God will steer them in the right direction because God has a purpose and plan for them. If God put them or allowed them to be in position of leadership, that means his original plan for them was to lead well, not to lead bad. 
Think about it. God knows all things. There's nothing that God does not know. So therefore, if you are under leadership that's not doing exactly um, the things that you know in your spirit that they should be doing, or maybe you feel that they're not doing it right, or maybe you feel they're horrible leaders, just put it out there. Amen. Pray for your leaders. Amen. Now, if it's in, if it's something that um, they're in heresy, or they're not preaching this gospel, they're preaching another gospel, or they're into witchcraft, or they're into some things in the background that it's just not right. Continue to pray for them, but get out of there. Amen. Um, you're not forced to be under bad leadership, but we are told in the scripture to pray for our leadership. But spiritual leadership, I believe, is important to have a spiritual head, a spiritual leader. Imagine the body of Christ walking around just with limbs and arms and everything without no head. Jesus Christ is the head. So therefore, we need to be connected um, to the leader. We need to be connected to the head. So dear brothers and sisters, honor those who are your leaders in the Lord's work because we are actually all in the Lord's work. If you're a believer in Christ, you have joined, you have put your hands, um, got your hands dirty, got your hands uh, um, in the soil, uh, whether it's good soil or bad soil, but your hand is in there and God is helping us through. Amen. So leave on um, this earth well put. Like we are here on purpose and a plan and we're planting seeds. We need to get our hands dirty sometimes. Good morning, Sister Joyce. Good morning. God bless you. Blessings to you and your family as well. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we had some issues on social media, so I'm happy to be on as well. Thank you so much for coming by. Medalia, God bless you. Good morning and welcome to the Morning Devo. If you don't know by now, amen, if you want to get off the social media platform, we have another platform that's available that has so much more than what we can do right here on social media, plus I'm um, shadow banned. So you can head over to live.soulwinnerswithaz.org. Let me put it on the screen again. Live.soulwinnerswithaz.org. That's going to be our new headquarters, our place to meet, our place to open the scriptures and break bread. Amen. And also, if you're not on my emailing list and the email list, I'm sending so many things out for free. Resources. Uh, I did an audio book yesterday that I released. Amen. It's a portion of um, the story of the Bible and you can share the whole Bible. I shared it, dramatized and everything. I shared the whole Bible, right? A summarization of the Bible in less than four minutes, right? So it's not something that could encourage you and inspire you to keep on moving forward in God's work. Amen. Because we are in the Lord's work. We are the Lord's workers as well. So believe it or not, whether or not you have a church or whether or not you have a ministry or whether or not um, you're in leadership in public or not, you are still influencing people. And because you are influencing people, I'm hoping and I'm praying that we will influence all together. We will influence people to the cross. We will influence people to the Lord of Lords, the King of Kings. We will influence influence people to look at the claims of the Lord Jesus himself in the Gospels, in the Word of God. So what spiritual leaders do you know? Think about it. Maybe write a list. Um, maybe, you know, remind yourself who are your spiritual leaders. And it could be right now, currently, who are your spiritual leaders or who used to be your spiritual leaders from wherever you came from, wherever your background. And maybe send them a text of encouragement. Hey, I'm praying for you. Hey, I'm thinking about you. Hey, uh, or send, you know, a gift card or send a cash app, you know, $5 or whatever. All of that will encourage our spiritual leaders. Amen. All of that will encourage because it's probably not happening as much um, anymore, especially in these times that we're living in. Everything is so busy. Everything is so social media. Everything is so like frantic and chaotic. Pandemic this. Um, take a, a shot of this and, and po political issues and all this stuff that's going on. And it could really drag people down and get people off focus and off course. But imagine um, thinking about who your spiritual leaders are right now. And in the month of October, and at least in this region, uh, I don't know if it's around the world, but in this region, I know for sure, uh, we celebrate pastors. And we call this Pastors Appreciation Month. And I'm loving the timing of it because this is also a month of high alert when it comes to spiritual warfare. So how much more do you think our spiritual leaders are being bombarded and attacked by the enemy, by bad influence, um, by disappointment, discouragement, all that? So we have to be rising up to the occasion and praying for them and, and honoring them and encouraging them and working with them because we are on high alert right now in the month of October. I know a lot of people don't understand that. A lot of people probably don't believe me. Amen. But think about it. The month of October, what is celebrated? 
the second most celebrated holiday in all of America is Halloween. In the month of October, um, you know, that's when all the monsters come out, <laughs> right? And they're, they're actually worshiping the God of the dead. While we Christians are like kind of like, ah, that's not really a big thing. No, it is a big thing. There's a lot of people that are being deceived. There's a lot of people that are being uh, misled. There's a lot of people that are being spiritually attacked, oppressed. There's a lot of people that are out there that don't know Jesus. And it's a high alert. And spiritual warfare for the month of October. I'm not saying that every day is not a battle. I'm just saying in the month of October, we should increase right all things of love, prayer, our prayer life. We should um, really grab our weapons of warfare, which is the word of God. Amen. And um, preach the gospel and be a light in this dark world. There's a lot of darkness going on right now in this territory, especially in America, because we are facing um, terrible times coming up. But in those times, amen, we have, you're very welcome, Medalia. In these times, we have what we need. Every day we have what we need if we have the Lord Jesus, amen. So also I have, well, thank you, amen, for you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you too, amen. I'm grateful that you show up to these morning devos, and I'm thanking God that you are blessed by them and that somebody is blessed by these uh, morning devos. And by this ministry. Thank you so much. So see how I'm encouraged now because somebody just shouted out, um, you know, appreciate you. It's very simple, but yet so powerful. You don't understand. So out of probably 100 days, I'll probably get two messages like that. Amen. I'm not complaining or nothing. I'm just saying. So if I'm just getting like two or three messages um, every now and then of encouragement, how much more do you think a pastor, a teacher, a leader, an apostle, a prophet, an evangelist, right? How many, how much more encouragement do you think they need because they're in positions and they're, you know, trying to lead the people, amen? They're encouraging, engaging, amen? They're, they're doing what's necessary um, to lead people in the right manner. And whatever a leader does not know and what does not understand, we trust Holy Spirit God in them. Um, to lead them to all truth and all understanding. Amen? For whatever situation they're facing. So, again, dear brothers and sisters, honor those who are your leaders in the Lord's work. There's really no um, no option other than to honor. It's saying to honor those who are your leaders in the Lord's work. Amen? I have no issue or no problem going to another church, right, and honoring the pastors. I have no, I have no issues greeting them, um, shaking their hand, giving them a word of encouragement, praying for them. I have no issue with that. I have no issue doing that in my own church. Amen. Although I, I rarely do it because I'm always um, busy and in the back. But amen, there's been a lot of prayer time, though, for my pastors and for my leaders and for the leadership of my church. Amen. A lot of prayer. Amen. And at sometimes some fasting. Oh, they probably won't know, but I need to be more vocal with it. So that way I could literally be an encouragement to the leaders, be an encouragement to the pastors and the pastoral family. We are in high alert. I keep on saying that. I'll keep on saying it for the whole month of October. I'm trying to wake some people up that are so um, concerned with so many other things and they're forgetting where we are. Like they're not in the present time. Amen. Thinking about, oh, you know, in January, I'm going to do this. Listen, we're in October right now at the time of this broadcast. So let's think about today. Let's think about this month. Let's think about what's happening right now. So that way we could be present in our time right now together. Amen. So what can you do to honor your spiritual leaders today? Now that you recognize who are your spiritual leaders. Amen. And spiritual leadership uh, could be a lot of things, but we're talking about Christian spiritual leadership. I know when you say the word spirituality or spiritual leader, um, it could go in all directions, all kinds of directions. But right now, focus, stay with me. We're talking about um, the Lord's workers, the Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord and Savior, the one who came and was, uh, you know, born from a virgin, you know, lived 33 and a half years on this earth, did an earthly ministry. And laid his life down for us, died on the cross, and three days later rose from the grave. And then he ascended to heaven. But before he ascended to heaven, he gave us some more words. And he he, he um, told us, he commissioned us, told us to baptize people in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. That Jesus, the one who did signs, miracles, and wonders. Amen. The one who walked on water. The one who preached the kingdom. The one who was baptized by all right, John the Baptist. And then right afterwards, um, 
tempted by the devil himself for 40 days, 40 nights. I'm talking about that Lord, that Lord, that Savior, the Lord, the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, the God Almighty. Amen. The the word that became flesh. So I because I have to narrow that down because when you say spirituality, you know, people come out with all kind of, oh, yeah, I'm a spiritual person. I'm not a believer in Christ, but I'm spiritual. I'm not a Christian, but I'm spiritual. Uh, uh, I don't go to church, but I'm spiritual. Right. So that opens a lot. So I'm trying to narrow it back down, trying to bring the funnel back in. Let's go back into the, what we're talking and who we're talking about, the Lord Jesus Christ, him and him alone. Amen. So what can you do to honor them? And let's make it a today thing. Think about the things you can do. It could be, I'm telling you, I, I know for a fact that it could be something so small, but it would change their day for good. Amen. It could be a card. A gift card. It could be a note. It could be an inbox right now telling them that you're praying for them or offering, hey, is there anything I could pray for you today? Today, like right now, you could do that. Amen. So, it's so many ideas that are popping up in my mind right now that I need to implement. I can't be just talking about it. I need to do it. Amen. Um, but it's and it's also fun and it's encouraging to the person that's giving because it's better to give than to receive. The scripture says so it'll be encouraging for me um, to give something out to my leadership. Right. And just random things like um, since we have past appreciation month, um, the daughters of our pastors were given these baskets, these gift baskets. I thought that was amazing. That was a, and they were so happy, at least the one sister that I saw. Um, I was like, wow, she was just so happy about it. Amen so happy about it and I was like wow see it wasn't that difficult amen and we have brother Rick thanks for your ministry uh, sir I found you in 2010 when you were doing uh, the Messiah music mixes praise God for your work amen thank you Rick thank you for um, your your chat you're on the live chat he's on the live chat with us right here live so that so one is with a Z dot org thank you so much Rick God bless you amen um, thank you for that amen so there you have it that encourages me. Amen. Since 2010, here we are, you know, 11 years later, and he's um, known about me for 11 years. And that's a testimony to God that God could use anyone who just says yes to him. Amen. And use them to inspire, to encourage others around the world, around the country, in your, in your neighborhood and beyond. Amen. So that's a good thing to know. Thank you, Brother Rick. Um, see, I'm inspired now. I'm encouraged now. It only takes one to start a uh, a gratitude thing like so it only takes one person to start this you know honoring and start this encouraging and start this um just being there for other people to realize that listen we are human beings we need one another amen i couldn't do this without you you couldn't do this without me and we definitely can't do anything without the lord we need the lord to do the things his exploits he said greater things we would be doing amen that's an amazing thing every time i read that every time i or remind myself that Jesus said we will be doing greater things than even he did is because we have Holy Spirit God. Amen. And if he said it, he meant it. And if he means what he says, he says what he means. Amen. So I'm just ready. Amen. And I hope you're ready as well. So we got some more people joining us on live. That's soul winners with Z.org. Amen. This is going to be, ladies and gentlemen, the platform that I'm going to be putting a lot more of my efforts on. Social media has me shadow banned and all this other stuff. My podcast as well has been doing great. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you for allowing me um, to minister into your life and to be a part of what God is doing in your life through this ministry. So praise the Lord. So First Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 12 and 13. I suggest you read the whole chapter, First Thessalonians chapter 5, so that way you can get the full idea, the full grasp of what's happening and why Apostle Paul was saying these things and why God inspired him to write what he wrote in the scriptures. Amen. So I'm amazed by the fact that Apostle Paul being... Um, who he was before the encounter with Jesus, that he would just go after every soul that he met, amen, and go after the Gentiles as long as well as his own, amen, that he was sent, he was appointed and anointed to do what he did in the scriptures in his life, amen, and we are anointed and appointed to do what God wants us to do in these times that we're living in uh, through his word, through our ministry, through our lives, amen. Don't ever discount any leader. Don't ever discount yourself as being a leader. You are being an influence to someone right now. I can guarantee you that, whether it's for the good or for the bad. Amen. Only God knows your heart. 
I don't know your motives or your intent, but God knows all things. So I suggest, amen, that you get into the plan of God. You, If you're, if you're not saved, amen, the salvation plan is simple. If you think about it, that you have to admit that you're a sinner, right? And ask Jesus to forgive you, and he will forgive you. He will give Him himself to you by way of his Holy Spirit to live inside of you. Then you will believe in his word, right? And the word will become alive to you, the word of God. And then you will have no problem confessing Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. Amen. That's the ABCs of becoming a born-again believer. Amen. None of that, it sounds easy, right? It is easy if you think about it, but the life after, amen, might not be so easy because now you're going to be being transformed and changed and being renewed. And there's always a process in that renewal, right? And every anytime somebody starts something new, a lot of people are uncomfortable. I was uncomfortable when I got saved because I knew something inside of me just woke up, came alive, and I never felt that way before before that time amen that god came into my life and started changing me and transforming me and he's still doing a work in my heart and in my life and in my mind amen and i know if he could do it for me he could do it for anybody so be an encouragement today jose god bless you my bro god bless you man welcome to the morning devo be an encouragement today for those who are leading you spiritually amen and remember the month of october we're on high alert as believers amen let's be prayed up let's stay prayed up amen if you need anything from me or prayer requests or anything let's connect let's stay connected amen i don't know how long i'm going to be here on this side of eternity but as long as i'm here i'll make myself available to pray for you to encourage you to give you the word we could break the word break the bread of the word together amen and we could just study the word we could just be uh, partnerships in christ amen brothers in christ sisters in christ and let's join up for this was what ha- what's happening in our times amen sister joy says thank you for sharing every day always a good word love you and your teaching god continue using you to bring his word in jesus name amen thank you so much for your encouraging words sister joyce you're always an encouragement every time i see you you're an encouragement amen and i have to have you on um, virtually or in person i want to, you to talk to the people about prayer Amen. I want you to, because you're anointed and appointed, um, to teach on that. Amen. And I know you have seen many things and you can testify of God's goodness in your life as well and in your family's life. So I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. I keep on looking at the timer because I got to get used to this timer because once this timer on live that someone is with a Z.org turns off, it's off. Amen. So I, I keep on um, getting cut off in the middle of sentences on there. Amen. So excuse me for keep on looking into the left, but I want to make sure I'm doing this in a timely way. So usually we're here at 10 a.m., but because of the outages and everything that happened on social media last night and yesterday, I had to reset a lot of things. So I'm out of here. I hope you were blessed. First Thessalonians chapter five, read the whole chapter, but we were camping out on verse 12 and 13. So God bless you. God keep you. And remember always that God is good. Peace.